Hi, I'm Alex Tavor, a front-end developer with Coco, and today we will be doing an introduction of Coco Marketplace. So I've already loaded it up, it's conversationalcomponent.com, and what we have here, beyond the lovely header, is the categories of components that we have, like featured category and the form-filling components. Now each component is a small chunk of, an, of conversation that does a specific goal. Well, for instance, scheduler schedules an appointment and a uh, namer gets user's name and the login identifies the user and verify passphrase verifies a passphrase. So uh, each one does a single thing, does it well, hopefully. So let's, uh, let's try one out. Let's try a scheduler. So just click on the card and here we are. Now, what we have here is the info section, API section, code section, and configuration. Now for now, we're not logged in. We're just looking at the component. Configuration is basically all the ways in which this component can be customized. This one is quite customizable. Um, the info has the basic information like name, goal, description, reviews, and so on and so forth. Now let's start with the API here because this is a interesting I think. Let's take a look. The API shows how to make a call to the API. So we have a session ID, a developer key, and a blueprint ID. Let's uh, give it some user input. Let's say hi. Okay, now and let's call API with this one. And here we are, we have a response. Looks like uh, this component wants us to set up an appointment as a scheduler should. So that looks great. Let's uh, try it again here with the chat window. Let's say hi. And here we are. So this is basically continues the same conversation we had via calling the API. Let's take a look at the data here. Yeah, it's the same thing. This is the API call result. And I think it's nice. So let's add this component to ourselves. For that, we'll need to join. So I'm clicking the join button in the upper right corner. And I'll just authenticate with Google. And I'll choose my favorite email. And here we are back in the marketplace. Just wait for everything to load. Here we are. Great. And we are logged in. Let's go to the scheduler again. Okay, now we have the nice add component button because we're logged in so we can add it. I'll just click on it. And here we are. I'm now in the workspace in the developer tab and I can see what we added just here. It's the scheduler. And I think it's a good time to customize this component. Great, so now we can customize. It's the, for that, let's go to the configuration. Here we go. Now all of the configuration we saw before, which we could not uh, change, now we can change it. So let's um, see what happens when we start talking to it. Say hi. We get so friendly, we want to set up an appointment with one of our representatives. Mm, so let's change this response to hi friend with three exclamation marks. Great. Now let's save it. And we're saving, we're saving, we're saving. Here we are. Great. Now we have the new component. Let's just make sure that we have changed. Yes, now we have a new component ID. The component has been changed. And let's talk to it again. Let's say hi. And there we are. This is the response we had. So this is the way to add and configure our components. It's very simple, very straightforward. Thank you very much. And please take a look at the other videos.